We are now on task 5 of the Getting Started with IBM Engineering Requirements Management Doors Next Quick Start. Task 5 is about showing and modifying attributes. In this task, you all will add columns for requirement attributes. You all will see how the typing mechanism only allows the correct attributes for specific artifact types to be edited, and you all will see how attribute values may be changed individually or in bulk. First off, we're going to apply a view to get started, and to do that, we're going to click on artifact type of one dot artifact type that is the first view in the view pane. And now we need to add some columns for the priority and verification method. To do that, go back up and click on the configure page settings button that is to the left of the artifact type column header. Go down to the bottom of the menu and click on more. In the type to filter by attribute name field, type PRI, click on priority, click add, then delete PRI, type in MET, click on verification method, and click add. Finally, click OK. It'll take just a second for this to load, and using the horizontal scroll wheel at the bottom of the page, we can see we now have priority and verification method. Since my monitor is a little bit on the smaller side, I can't see the full verification method, so what we can do is we can mouse over the verification method column header, and we can click and we can drag it wider. If that doesn't work, we can go back up and click on the configure page settings button, go back down to more, and we can change verification method underneath Wix with pixels to from 79 to something like 150, making it be double than what it was. Finally, we can click OK again, and now we can see that it does not get cut off anymore. Since we just customized this view, let's make it be a saved view. Come over to the left side of the screen in the view pane, and there is a little save button available where we can do save changes to this view, but what we want to do is that we want to save this as a new view. So to do that, click on the button above it that shows the plus symbol with a floppy disk and a page with a plus, and when you mouse over it, it says save as new view. Click on that. The window will pop up, and for the name field, we're going to put in 9.requirements attributes. Again, we're going to put in nine dot requirements attributes. And now underneath type, we're going to change it from personal to shared. Because we want everyone to be able to see this view. Finally, we're going to put in a description. And for this case, I will put in team view. A great idea to get in the habit to fill out as many fields as possible. Finally, once we have everything here on this window that we want to see, click OK. It'll take just a second. And now we can note that we are automatically loaded into the view that we just created, that is requirements attributes. Let's collapse the menu, and to do that, we're gonna go over to the right side of the screen where we see the arrow and a line pointing over to the right that when we mouse over it, it says hide sidebar, click on that so we can see the full view pane a little bit better. So now, let's go back up and search for an artifact. To do that, Mouse over the type to filter artifacts by text or ID box and put in 4092. This is a system requirement that we previously edited, talking about how the hummingbird shall remain airborne for at least three hours. Previously, we changed two to a three. And we can see that there's a verification not set. So we need to set this verification method. And to do that, simply click on the pen and we have a whole menu available to us. Now, Check test and uncheck not set. Finally, click OK. And we can see that it was automatically updated underneath verification method where it now says test. We also want to change the priority. So to do that, mouse over the priority box, click on the little pen, and finally click low priority. Now, to get rid of the filter that we just applied, come up to artifact ID is any of 4092. Mouse over that and click the minus symbol that says remove filter when you mouse over it. Here are all of our artifacts again within this module. To modify some artifacts in bulk, all we need to do is come over here, click the checkboxes for a few artifacts, click the page menu button, and we can see information about editing the attributes for four artifacts. So we will click that. 
And now we're going to see a whole bunch of attributes that we can edit. And what we're going to want to do is click the check on priority. And we're going to want to set that to medium. Finally, click save. Select a few more artifacts. Again, it doesn't matter what artifacts that you use the check boxes on. So for this example, I'm just going to check off five artifacts. Then I'm going to click on the menu button located next to one of the artifacts and go up to the top where it says edit the attributes for five artifacts. And we are going to change the verification method by clicking on verification method. And in this menu, we're going to change it to test and demonstration and then uncheck not set. Finally, we will hit save. It'll take just a second to update those, and we can now see that we bulk edited a few artifacts. Since we made all these changes, we're going to want to save the view, and to do that, where it says requirement attributes in the view pane, there is a little floppy disk, and we're going to click on the floppy disk. You have now completed task 5 in the Getting Started with IBM Engineering Requirements Management Doors Next Quick Start.